Hello, this is Claude Fulinfo from Brisbane. I'm really excited today to share my, my experiences reading the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. It was over 10 years ago that I picked up this book for the very first time and I found it really, really exciting to find out that there are ways other than just going to school and studying hard to make a living. So as I'm reading this book today, the very first chapter, I thought, well, how about I write down my notes and then make short video clips as I read each page, each chapter, and share my experiences with people just like you who feel and think like me, thinking, is there a better way in this, in this world where we can not only work smart, work hard, but as well as make a very good living and live life to its fullest. So, as, you, as I mentioned earlier, I've been talk, reading this book for the second time to go over things in our chapters or, or lessons in the book, reach that poor that, that I could have possibly missed when I read the book the very first time, roughly around 10 plus years ago. It's now 13 years later, so why did it take all this time to get back to this book is the question that I keep asking myself. Because after all, the book that Robert Kiyosaki has written holds so many secrets for all of us to create wealth that could possibly be much quicker and faster, easier, if we just pay more attention to what he says. So let's reread the, the book again and find out now what secrets are held in, within this book. I'm intrigued by the tagline on this book. What is what the rich people teach their kids about money, the poor and middle class do not. It's an exciting and quite a bold statement because growing up in a middle class family, my parents told me when I was a child that I had to study hard, pay attention to the teachers and get good grades because the jobs out there would only go to the people that had good grades. This was instilled in me and in fact, business people were frowned upon saying, you know, that uh, money is dirty, uh, don't think about business, get a job because there's more security in a job. These are the words or the, or the advice that my dear mother would share to me more than once if I ever brought up the subject of business. I'm excited to get started today because the paragraphs below are what I've gleaned so far from the first page in chapter one in the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I'm really intrigued at what Robert Kiyosaki says in his book that the school system has not taken any steps to teach students, just like me 40 years ago, anything about financial literacy in the real world. We were not taught how to use money and save money, but we were taught about to spend money. The system today teaches us to go and get credit cards all around spending money. We are not taught about generating money and saving money. All we are taught in schools is to study hard, as I mentioned before, and to get good grades, and to beat everyone else at school. The focus is not about win a win-win situation, but more of a win-lose situation. The focus is to get the best jobs out there in the marketplace and beat your best friends at that job so that you can get the job and they lose. Though, the, though this may be good for the system, it does not really set us up to be successful other than being good employees and good tax players. Yes, we should pay taxes, but wouldn't it be nice to also to get wealthy while we do so? Interestingly, the jobs that are being presented to fresh students just like myself years ago and even today entering the college system are seldom there when the students pass out in four to five years. This is apparent more so today than ever before. I see it in Brisbane with the young college students passing out each year. The, the jobs that were promised to them are not in the marketplace when they pass out four or five years later. So why is this all happening? The world is changing so fast these days that what is the trend today is definitely and possibly not the trend tomorrow. So if you study for something in college right now, be careful because chances are you will need to upgrade your skills when you finish. And even then, there is no guarantee that you will get the job that you studied for. Even if you got a second degree, you possibly would have to settle for second best. 
We see so many fresh college graduates in Brisbane and Queensland working at the supermarkets as cashiers or coffee shops as attendants because there are not so many jobs out there in the corporate world today. With the redundancies that are happening, college students are finding it really hard competing for jobs and also competing for jobs that pay well. So if you are a college student in Brisbane and want to be an entrepreneur and want to retire young and retire rich, just like the book Rich Dad Poor Dad says, then ask us in our newsletter by clicking the link below this video or podcast. This is Claude Fullen for Brisbane and look out for my next podcast and video that will be coming out in the next few days. Thank you for listening.